good afternoon. Today is May 17th, and today I'll continue to be talking about the coronavirus. So the first piece of news that I like to talk about is that fall school openings are shrouded in uncertainty. So many students and parents like myself, and uh, such as myself, are just wonder if schools are going to reopen the schools and so far the plans and guidelines that have emerged are different in each state and many state leaders are divided for example in california where i live governor gavin newsom said today that some schools in the state will reopen while others remain closed on the level of the pandemic of the virus that each county is facing and uh, Governor Paulus of Colorado said on Sunday to, or today that starting the school year open won't guarantee that they stay that way and that there might be times if there's an outbreak that it has to convert online for a period of time. And uh, personally, I think that, well, this is not a bad idea and that however, I feel like schools should try to reopen as quickly as they can because children are often not as affected as severely by the virus as they are for uh, adults. However, many kids will come in contact with their parents and grandparents and could cause them to be infected. And also, there is also that rare and baffling inflammatory syndrome, which is a mysterious illness that is linked to the COVID-19. The second, the second thing that I'd like to talk about is that is also academic related, and it is the problem of glitches in online AP tests that is adding to students' anxieties. So, AP tests or advanced placement test is extremely uh, important in college applications for students and they have they're also often really stressful students for students and the student, students are expecting to take it online but many are experiencing problems technical glitches during the online exams exams were the latest problem after after students have uh, navigate testing, college applications, and college visits remotely during the coronavirus pandemic, and that roughly fewer than one percent of the roughly 2.2 million tests taken this week had uh, submission issues, and this has I feel like this is just anxiety inducing and very high tension stress and it may I think it may definitely may interfere with the students ability to for testing so uh, these are just I feel like uh, so these college college boards really try to reduce the stress even though they are always stressful even in the best circumstances uh, many students are qualifying for a retest in June, but still I feel like there's many problems that can go wrong. For example, students submitting the wrong answers could also be one. And I feel like uh, overall the pandemic is impacting every single person, and, but especially students during this heightened stress. And with college applications, it was already a stressful process. And now it's not online or like, such as these glitches and problems, it's just, just going to add more to the stress. The third thing that I like to talk about is that uh, the federal agency that issues visas is almost broke. It's become ravaged by the pandemic. The United States Citizenship and Immigration Services, the federal agency that administers the country's lawful immigration system, so that it can be insolvent by summer and has asked Congress for $1.2 billion to stay afloat. This is the agency that handles applications for green cards, citizenships, and other programs, and it basically relies on fees which are paid by applicants for 90% of the annual budget, which is $4.8 billion. So because of the pandemic, uh, travel and immigration restrictions have been imposed, and as a result, as a result, applications have plummeted, and therefore there's not enough fees to pay for. 
The Trump administration's policies, including new requirements for some green card applications and more extensive reviews for H-1B visas, also hit the agency by reducing the by reducing revenue by dissuading people from applying and increasing the amount of labor involved in handling each case. So these factors are all impacting the uh these things and with this they're making every single application taking longer to review and process if you are so some may say that it's not even worth applying and i think that's the reason why the agency is running out of money Appl uh so now applications will be imposed there will be a 10 percent sur surcharge on its fees on top of the previously proposed increases so now the cost of petitioning for naturalization would jump from more than 60% to $1,170 $1, from $725 for most applicants. And so yeah, uh, I feel like I hope Congress does help, help, it, help the agency out and well, I guess uh, it, it is really hard to get into this country and now even more so. That's it. Thank you for listening and I hope you have a good day.